So let's look at another question in relation to the inventory and see how the standard plays out. I want you to stay carefully with me here because the structure of the question sometimes determines the way we work out. What is the value of Repeho's inventory at 31st December 20X7 according to IS2 inventories? Again, know the principle. Lower of cost and net realizable value. That's basically what we need to do. Repair who? So what do we have? Let's read. The Repair Who company manufactures a single type of concrete missing machine, which it sells to building companies. Repair Who is currently considering the value of its inventories at 31st December 20X7. The following data are relevant at this date. So this is the cost of inventory 240 there are 85 mixing machines held in inventory so in total we have 85 stay with me the company has a contract to sell 15 concrete missing machine at two to five thousand each to a major local building company in january 20x8 now remember that is just the following day because our year ended is 31st december 20x7 so that is just the following day the normal selling price is 260 per machine selling costs are minimal now one thing you need to understand is that ias2 states that when determining the value at which closing stock will be carried the contract any inventory that will be sold under contract its carrying amount should be determined separately from the other inventory so we're going to be doing that too here so if we go back there are 15 of the machines that has to be sold at 225 so really the net realizable value here for the contract is 225 because we are told that the cost to sell is minimal is negligible so if you compare that to the cost you realize that the net realizable value is lower because the cost is 240,000 the lower of the two so under the contract we are going to be selling at 225,000 15 machines so 225,000 by 15 and that is 3 million 375,000 then we come to the remaining because the entity the question said the normal selling price is 260,000 it's 260,000 so let's bring in the general inventories and so if you look at that normal selling price is 260 cost is 240 which one is lower the cost so in the general we're going to have 240,000 multiplied by there are 85 in total but 15 is under the contract so the remaining and that is 16 million 800,000 so we add the two up and the amount remember the requirement of the question the value of inventory at the reporting date at 31st 12 20x7 will be plus 3375 and that is 20 million 175,000 so that is the answer to the question so that is basically the idea about IAS2 inventories how we determine the valuation using the lower of cost and net realizable value i'll see you in the next video as we continue with our discussion